We're joined now by the monthly winner of the Oslo GAA Writers Award, and that's Porik Faulkner from Kingscourt, the young Cavan defender who excelled in Croke Park against Tyrone recently. A great accolade for young Porik Faulkner, of course, the son of uh, Pat Faulkner and his mother, of course. Jackie Faulkner up there in Kingscourt, Pat, a former great Cavan defender, and won many accolades on his time on the football mm -hmm. field. You're following your, your dad's footsteps, but I'm sure you'd say to me, Porik, you're a man in your own field and you were outstanding in Croke Park. Congratulations on your award. Uh, thanks very much. Yeah, um, it's a massive achievement uh, to win this um, on my first year at, uh, the senior, in the senior setup. So it is, uh, I'm very happy to be here accepting it today. Playing Croke Park, or playing Tyrone, sorry, in Croke Park, wide open spaces. It was a learning curve uh, for Cavan, but will you learn from the experience? Um, yes, uh, look at, you have to look at, this is the team you're going to be facing uh, come championship time. They're going to be uh, massive crowds at it, so you have to know your uh, different backgrounds and different teams. So uh, look at it, it's, it was a huge experience to be there, to play there. Um, different of playing in Breffney Park, um, so we'll have to prepare ourselves for months to come, hopefully. Playing Tyrone, they know Crook Park so well and Mickey Hart so astute. Uh, they had a lot of things, probably they got them right on the day, but Cavan really put it up to them, and had Cavan got a goal there, uh, it could have might have been much closer at the end. So overall, you must have been satisfied enough with the performance on the day. Well, Tyrone are up there as one of the top teams. Um, they're very hard to break down defensively, but look at, at this stage, we are playing Division 1 football next year, so we have to see ourselves um, to be up there, playing with them at their level and standard. Of, we have to be, not just say, oh, we played well, we have to be hopefully saying we come out with a win the next time. We all talk about the league and league performances and who won the league and who won Division 2, 3 or 4 or 1, but it'll be all forgotten about who lost or who won in a couple of weeks' time. Of course, Championship time is around the corner. Cavan v Armagh, Breffney Park at 3 o'clock. That's the big one that you're training for now. Well, that's the one. Look, it's next step forward and uh, that's the one we're focusing all our attention on. You have to take it one step at a time. You can't look past it. Um, we faced them already. to be a complete different animal than what we faced uh, so we know that and we're just taking it all in our stride and that's it, all, all systems go for that. Cavan fans are the greatest supporters in Ireland. If the Cavan team is doing well, the turnout in the thousands, it'll be a big lift to you in Breffney Park, uh, Cavan GA fans. Well, Cavan fans are always, they're always, they have to say they're the best fans I have out there. Um, they, there was a sea of blue looking out in Crow Park. Uh, and I imagine they'll come, they'll all be coming to Breffney Park too. They're a 16th man. They help us across the line most of the times. Um, there's nothing better than when something happens, that a big roar comes from the crowd and it's a real lift. How is training going? And I know that you were abroad there doing uh, training and I was uh, suggesting to you, it was probably, I heard it was very heavy training, but I don't expect you to comment in detail on how you got on. But you did do, uh, do, do some training while abroad. Yes, there was... Yeah, um, it was more of a team bonding weekend. It was to get to know each other a wee bit better. And um, but no, we did. Yeah, we're, we're training's going good. We have the background team that's there. We have our S and C coach. We have our uh, fields trainer. we uh, everything's going really well. So that's what we have to keep keep improving ourselves upon. And that's all. Yeah. Cavan's defensive game has been brilliant for a number of years now, but you combine that with scoring ability right through the league, that's something you'll be trying to carry into the game against Armagh? Well, that is, yes. Um, we like to get forward in the defence, uh, so that is something we, we, we like to... Uh, we're priding ourselves on this year, so um, we're not just a defensive team anymore. We're uh, opened up and we're just going for it now. And away from the football field and all that, you're in college and you want to be a primary teacher. Can you tell me what college you're in currently, uh, Porik? Well, at the minute I'm not in a college. Next oh, you're not? Year. No, next, next year. year. Yeah. Well, uh, on Wednesday I'll be attending the interviews for St. Pat's College, so oh. that'll be the next. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's your great ambition to be a primary teacher. It is. Yeah, it is. yeah. yeah. I love, uh, love working with the younger uh, side of education, so yeah. And you'll be passing on your football skills to the young people. Hopefully. Yeah. Porik Faulkner, it's been a pleasure having you joining us here. 
and we wish you well on the 29th in Breffley Park against Armagh and indeed the Cavan team. Congratulations once again on your monthly award from the Ulster GA Writers Association. Thanks a million.